This is Mary at the Marriottier, and today is the third day of 2022. This is an impromptu video. I'll explain that in a moment. I have been going through magazines. Uh, I am fortunate enough to have a library that recycles their magazines and puts them on a free magazine table. And every now and then, hi Candy, every now and then I'm able to get a stack of magazines. And I got some before Christmas. By the way, welcome to my desk. Welcome to my desk. This is an impromptu video. So what this is all about, let me sit down here and get into my stream so that I can welcome folks that come in. Okay, um, I'll have to kind of watch chat um, for bots, <laughs> but there's Brittany and Candy. Hello, guys, ladies. <laughs> you're not guys, you're ladies. Hello, hello. Um, this is nothing new, making your own magazine. I think I saw Shannon Green, when she was doing videos, do something similar to this. Brittany says, hello, and uh, this, well, barring these, these are the things I've saved. Now, this stack is about half of this stack, <laughs> so I saved about half of it, but um, it will grow, by the time I get my fussy cuts out of here, it will grow more slender. These are magazines that I've gone through, um, well... Let's turn these over. There are a few that I that I can't cut up yet. These two magazines were gifted to me by a lady in Canada. And uh, I can't cut them up because I know how much it cost her to send these to me. And I enjoy the Reminisce magazines as they are. So those two I'm saving. This one, I think I'm going to do reverse collage in. Uh... So that's going to be that. And I have a few more here I need to go through. Uh, I think ending here. And I think the rest of these, no, all of these I need to go through yet. So I have some left to tear out. Well, we'll put them over here and I'll do that before the week is over. Hi, Janet Baum. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you, Janet. Hi, Becky. Hi, Nashua. So, this, I've already bagged all these up, except for this bag. I'm going to grab these cottage bungalow type uh, for the covers. Um, I love cottages, but these are more modern than what I go for. But I'm going to convert these into the cover of my magazine because they've got nice sturdy covers and I've already torn the back off of this one so let's go get this other one um uh, well I guess I'll get the back of it um well though I do like that uh, these these cottages are you know uh, <laughs> they're more <laughs> they're more modern than what I that than I could do Although I do like that, too. And I can't do much to this house because, well, it's my brother's. I have control of this room, but the rest of the house, no. But I got three bags here. Let me tie this one up. I got three bags that can go to the recycling bin. Yay! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So let me show you what I'm thinking about here in making my own magazine. And as I said, I've seen this done before on YouTube. And I think Shannon Green is the person who comes to mind. Thank you, Janet. I guess I'm going to have to try that five-minute timeout thing, aren't I? Janet says, welcome to everybody. Hi, is it Sam, the fighting felber? Felter? The fighting felter? Uh, hi, Sam. Welcome, welcome. Becky's here. Janet is here. Cheryl popped in. Hi, Cheryl. Um, Janet Baum. 
our trusty mod and candy welcome everybody i'm not going to be on a whole long time i'm just going to show you what i'm thinking here this is an impromptu i'm not going to be on hours so i want this for the back and this for the front and i will probably be i will probably be uh, painting over these in the long run but i chose these because they're nice and sturdy nice sturdy covers so when I tear out magazines, I went through all those and tore out things that caught my eye. And this is the result of things that caught my eye. And that's what I would recommend that you do uh, if you're uh, tearing apart magazines. If you can't decide that whether you want to keep it, keep it. And you can decide later uh, when you're thinking about it. Now, why did this catch my eye? I'm not sure. Uh, this might have just been the contents to that, but we will cut out, not those scissors, those are for my tape. They don't cut so good. They only cut my packing tape. I was using packing tape yesterday. I'll cut out 90 here just to save it. I think I this came on the back or fr the front of that, but for a number, and then I got a couple of cards here that I don't really want. So these will be trashed. Have your trash pile. Yeah, I saved the, and when you, this is the back of a, I think it's of a country magazine. And I have learned, you guys have told me, I learned from probably doing this in, I think it was Danny or Sharon or Kathy said, when you have a seal like this, heat it up. and loosen that glue and maybe I can get this off with my palette knife now I might have to heat it up a little bit more let's heat it a little bit more get these labels off some of them are easier to come off than others there we go it's a common. There we go. That way you have a nice picture. Now, I save these for things like I might want some bears. When their mama's away, two cinnamon black bear cubs will pay. So I'm going to divide my magazine up into categories. Pictures. Um... I could save this for fussy cutting, but I'm going to save it for pictures. The way I'm going to put my magazine together, I will be able to take this out pretty easy. What did I save this for? The, the uh, journaling spot. What floats your boat? And I'll throw the rest away. I don't want the rest of it. What floats your boat? Well, you know what floats my boat is art journaling and art floats my boat. All right. So I have a stack of fussy cuts that I'm starting here. And, oh, you could save this, but I won't. I'm not really. You can see those all the time. Here's another label to take off. I keep putting my heat gun. These labels come on the back of the magazines. Once you get it started good, it comes off, they come off pretty easy, but you got to get them started, get them heated up good. Without burning your paper, of course. Oh, of course, I got the 90s stuck on it. Come on. Yeah. get this label started and it will come off pretty easy getting it started is the trick well I'll come back to that because I don't want to spend all more all 
all the time doing this. I'll come back. But this is another picture like this. So I've got my cover. I've got pictures. This I saved for a fussy cut for a for a cardinal. And this was just a, a subscription. And I'm just going to fussy cut it out real fast. Uh, rough cut it. I'll just rough cut it. I can fussy cut it when I use it. Throw that in the trash. I better get my trash at the ready here. And this I saved because of the moose and the beaver. And these again will be fussy cut for... I might want a picture of a moose sometime. I was thinking it would be fun to do an animal sketchbook. My hand's kind of shaky this morning. Sorry about that. So we'll put that in the pictures. Or really, that could go in the in the fussy cuts. But we'll put it in the pictures. And the beaver. Cut the beaver out. I don't have a lot of wildlife saved, but I do save them. Here's, here's I saved because of the picture again. And I'm just going to put it that way. I'll come back. And here's another one with labels with the picture. This one inspired me. Journeys. And I thought this would be a fun for your own personal timeline. Like, start out way back here when you're a child and when you go, you know, your preschool your primary, elementary, that's usually how we, or age you could even go. So this one I'm saving for a category that I call inspiration. So I'm going to put that right here for inspiration. This article was about uh, the Civil War, but on the back it talked, well, I saved that. The Civil War, I'm just going to save that. Uh, the Mark of History. I think I saved it more for the journaling spot. This one I saved out of interest. Um, really, these two are interest. These two are interest. So I've got pictures, inspiration, fussy cuts, and interest. And this one interests me. I don't think this is Hemingway here. I think this is the author of this article. But it says, Hemingway loved to fish for brookies or brook trout. I thought that was interesting, and I thought I'd go find out more about Hemingway. Here's some more animals. So I'm going to put those with pictures. I'll come back and I'll come back and go through this pile. I'll just sort them out here now. Here's another back of a magazine. Those country magazines always have beautiful pictures. This I saved for wildlife and um, li a lighthouse. Making mud pies. This is this is an article because who didn't who hasn't made mud pies? Who remembers their mud pies? I remember making mud pies. So that'll go in an interest category. Let's see who's coming in. Thank you, Janet, for taking care of the, the bots for us. Hi, Amy Johnson. Hi, Renee Redwagon. Welcome, welcome. Candy's here. Sarah, Cheryl's here. Welcome, everybody. Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. Diana Short. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, little sister Cheryl, Diana Short. Aunt Beck says, I'm having a lot of fun with Carla's scavenger hunt, and it's making me deal with things I haven't touched since we moved back down here. Well, that's cool, Becky. I thought it would be fun to do a scavenger hunt as I was doing this, and then I remembered that Carla was doing one. So, if Carla's doing it, Mary doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so I thought that I'd make a, a magazine of my own. And this is how I'm how I'm going about it. This is a picture, Wander Among the Wildflowers. Um it'll it'll be really a, a fold out, a flip. Um this is more about wildflowers here. Uh, really, this could be an article. I might put it with the articles. 
back in the saddle. I saved this one. See, I don't have enough room to categorize my things. <laughs> oh dear, there's never enough room on my desk. Let's do, I cut this out for the back in the saddle. And I'm just going to rough cut it. And I'll go back in and fussy cut it better next time. And there's some interesting horses. I might save that for a picture. There. Look like they're bucking up for predominance. On the quilt bond trail. That's an article. I love quilt barns. When I leave, lived in Madison, when I lived in Madison, there was a quilt barn trail that you could go on. Here I saved this one for the picture, the wild horses. This is a fussy cut, good vibes, and I also saved it for this H, um, the alphabet. In their alphabet, there was other examples in there. They have a really interesting... Uh, alphabet. So I saved that for the fussy cut. Here's an article on collecting and collecting matchbooks. Now this is inspiration and I thought it would be fun to do, here's the top of it. Uh, this is an inspiration for matchbooks, matchbooks that we do. It's, it is no, it's nothing new, but it's inspiration. This one I think I saved for the article, Pioneer Life, Home Cooking. I saved for the, I saved these for the banners up here. This come out of uh, Reed Drummond's magazines. Uh, I'm not sure why I saved that. I'll put it with the, and these, although these are cute, well, I'll put them. I'll put them with the pictures from now. See, I saved the made, made from scratch. And look at that alphabet. I want to do an alphabet. I want to do an alphabet that looks like that. Do the entire alphabet with the doodles in it. So this is inspiration here. Magic carpets. I, I saved this for fussy cutting. For all the different uh, designs. I thought these would make nice splotches. So, although I'm not going to fussy cut here, I'll, I'll have to have a pile for fussy cutting. Pioneer style, there's another banner I want to cut out. This is an article about hats. Hats, yeah. Is this the front of it? No, this is an article, so I'm going to put it over here with the articles of interest. This one was all about... Fourth of July. This is again out of Lee Drummond's um, magazine. And I really saved this one for the banner and for the picture. And this is just more Main Street USA celebrating the Fourth of July. Here's horses, pictures, another back of the magazine picture. Um, why did I say this one? This one is interesting because this comes out of the Country Magazine. They showed an old, old picture, and then they show a new one. And this is a cage uh, kind of that goes over the Colorado River, and this shows it in, uh, in the olden days. Look at those long dresses. And they said it was windy. That cage would rock back and forth. That's kind of interesting. Um here again, I get into things. Um, this was an old general store. I saved that out of interest. Let's see, I'm going to put it with the article. Um, this is all about Amish country here. And this goes, well, there's a serenity by the sea there, but I think I, think I saved it for the Amish and I just pulled out the hoe. So I'm going to put that in the articles. I saved this for the picture. I saved this for fussy cuts. I thought it would be fun to cut out all those little pictures there for fussy cutting. So this will go in my fussy cutting. I saved this for the picture. Um, this actually goes with that. 
she never wanted to be a school. This talks about homeschooling. I don't want, I don't need that. I just saved it for, that's a well-known picture. I think that's by Winslow Homer. Yeah, Snap the Whip by Winslow Homer. Painted that in 1872. And sometimes I save recipes. I'm not a recipe person, but sometimes I see things that Look good. This is all about food of the decades and some of the weird foods that they made. Sauerkraut chocolate cake, Spam Italiano, potato fudge. And there's a whole bunch of it. Pimento puree, milk chicken with banana buttons. Ew! And it was talking about odd recipes. I'm going to put that in the articles. Ten ways to use coconut oil. Oh, I say this because of the cucumbers. Uh, they they talk about different veggies and fruits. And this I got out, I think, the Mary Jane magazine. Uh, all about cucumbers. And I saved it because of cucumber, lemon, and lavender brightening mist. Cucumber, melon, mint, soothing mists. So I'm going to put that in articles. This I saved because of the dog. And... I have several of these that I saved. Well, this is the dog days of summer. This is the creative life where she, Mary Jane in her magazines have her seven wonders. And I always tear those out. So that will really go in articles. Dogs are our best stress relievers. I saved this for that picture. I think it's so cute. So that's a picture. Um... I saved this one because this I saved it for this picture. I love the pictures, and I love these little um, typewriters that that Mary Jane's magazine has in it. And so I saved those. This this again I saved because of the clip. So this is a fussy cut. Let me turn these around. I got them upside down here. Let's see how many do I have upside down there. Um. This is a fussy cut. This again because of the typewriter. And this is little truths. I'm going to put this in the articles. Your fences need to be horse high, pig tight, and bull strong. This is from Mary Jane's Organic Farming Magazine. Every path has a few puddles. These are good journaling spots. Always drink upstream from the herd. Live simply, love generously, care deeply, and speak kindly. I'm going to put that in articles. Here again, I saved this for the picture here. I saved this for the picture. Did I have two there? And this I saved for the recipe. So, fig and pecan scones. And here is one about making your own cereal bars. So, I need another recipe category that I'm going to have to put over here on top of my scrap pile. Love it and leaf it. I saved that. Um, I saved, I'm going to have to put that over here. I saved this because I grew coleus on the front porch, and they were beautiful, and they really looked nice. So I'm going to plant more coleus plants. I'm going to put that in inspiration because that's going to inspire me to... For my plant, this is a picture. This I saved for fussy cutting togetherness. I'm just going to cut this out. Good journal spot. I don't need this. I saved this for the, for the journal spot. Be proud. For the, for the words, this is a South Dakota travel ad. Well, let's throw these away. I'm getting down there. Life. I think I saved this for the word, too. There's, yeah. Life. Hunger to change. Bags with a mission for women on a mission. Uh, this is uh, a project that they had for bags. But I like... For women on a mission. I'm going to cut this whole thing out here. And put it in my fussy cut. Although I might take bags off. 
I'm sure I saved that because of the the flowers for for uh, some of these I saved just because I want the picture. This is where you breathe. This is Arkansas. And I'm just going to say this is where you breathe. I cut this for the journal spot. I don't need that. I cut this out because it's an article about a lady, who, an editor says, I love to create. So I'm going to put that in my articles. History loves company. And I'm pretty sure I, this is a... Midwest Living. I, I'm sure that I saved this for the journal spot. History Loves Company. Journal. Fussy Cut. I'm not going to save the others. Uh, there are a lot of places out there, but there's nowhere like us. I saved that for Fibsville. This is a Galena ad, a tourist ad. Did I save this? I thought, man, that describes Fibsville. There's no place like us. It says visit Galena Org, but this is going to go for Fibsville. There's no place like Fibsville. Yeah. And here's some more recipes I was saving. I don't save a lot of recipes, but some of them scones. Now, I probably will not pay, make pepper jack and chives, but this lemon, ginger, and coconut sounds good. Scones. Do you guys make scones? Snowdrop. This is this is kind of an inspiration. I thought I would try. We get snowdrops in our yard in the spring, but I love this story. It said, uh, "This is a little excerpt from the Snowdrop by Hans Christian Andersen in 1863." This would be fun to illustrate. Spring is just around the corner, and it seems like the perfect time to share a, a tidbit of literary wonder called The Snowdrop by Hans Christian Andersen. This classic tale chronicles the emergence of a brave flower that simply cannot wait for spring. I'm going to put that in inspiration. This I saved for the picture because of the hummingbirds. And I think these are some more recipes. Raspberry swirl cookie crumb ice cream cake. And, oh, let's see, what else did I save here? Oh, I also saved it because of the trellis. I'm going to put this in articles. I'm going to put that in articles because some of these articles in here just inspire me. Um, some things I like to read. Move out moth naturally. That goes in articles, and then the back is about making a, a ironing board cover. But this tells you how to get rid of those moths here. Um, make a waterproof patchwork picnic quilt. Or Oh, I saved this one because of the books. I like to make little book charms. So that's why I saved that. That'll go in fussy cuts. Bird seed cookies. That's a recipe. And those are real cookies. This I'd already cut out of, but I saved it because of... I, I think I saved it because of the May Day trivia tidbits. In the May of 1886, the U.S. labor activist organized... A, I saved that out of because I was interested in reading it. This is a Mother's Day article. So this goes in articles. Here's some recipes. Why did I say but lunch bars? Lunch bars. I'm I want to make more lunch bars. They get eaten pretty fast. Chocolate cashew spread. I wanted to make that too. So these go in recipes. I'm not much of here's another seven wonders. Ways to beautify a picnic basket. If you ever want to beautify your picnic basket. This I saved for the picture. I thought that would be fun to draw. Putting your health first. Uh, histo holistic prevention for blind disease. What did I save this for? I'm not sure. I'm going to put that in a I don't know pile. <laughs> uh
that goes with that. Oh, I think I saved this one because of the picture here. That's really a fussy cut. Some of these, this one I saved because of an article. Uh, we have witnessed and we're still witnessing a lot of cyber grief. A lot of our friends, Deborah Brown, Taz, um, Lisa lost her husband. Barb Owens lost her, passed away. Uh, Barb Owens' husband passed away. And it says, with social media, we've entered a new age of communication and found new means of forming real friendships, even if we'd never laid eyes on people with whom we chat, message, email, and tweet. If you see my farm girl, this is Mary Jane's farm magazine. If you see my farm girl connection chat room, um, it's evident that over 20,000 farm girls have found lasting connections there. Of course, caring for people also means we miss them when they're out of touch. And it goes on and it talks about cyber grief. And um, I want to mention Aunt Beck's uh, project with her hearts. Aunt Beck is starting a, or she has started. She's probably already, I'm still working on mine, Becky, um, because mine are all hand done. Mine are all hand sewn. <laughs> and I, I think I need to make six of them. And I'm going to send out five. But what Becky has done, and you'll, you, you'll see it on her channel, or if Becky's in here, or if Janet wants to drop a link to the video, where she's making hearts, friendship hearts. And, um, uh, um, uh, Sending them to people who need encouragement. So uh, that I thought that was a really good example of how we deal with cyber grief. And cyber grief does not have to be people who passed away to people who had family that passed away. It could be like Violet. Violet is de dealing with the Omicron uh, virus right now. It could be with somebody whose whole entire family, I think Dana Yates said that her entire family is dealing with it. It could be cyber grief over a loss of a pet, or it could be somebody who just needs some company, or you feel like, uh, oh, you just feel like, you, you just feel like they need a little uplift in their life. Make a heart. And it doesn't, I'm doing mine by hand and I'm doing needlework, but uh, um, um, it doesn't have to be that. You could just make a, draw a little heart and paint it or decorate it up and let them know that they're in your thoughts and in your prayers. I thought that was a really good project started by Becky. I'm going to put this with my articles. This is one I already cut out of. Um, why did I save it? I saved it for a reason. Can sheep help save the... I don't know why I saved it. I'm going to put that up there because <laughs> I might have saved it because of this one's also cut. Try letter boxing. You'll love it. One of our favorite family hobbies... This is out of Mary Jane's uh, Farm Magazine again. One of our favorite uh, family hobbies is letter boxing. It's a perfect combination of hiking, exploring, and crafting. I love it. My husband loves it, and the kids love it. There are varying degrees to suit everyone in the family, and there are letter boxes everywhere. I'll bet many of you have walked by them and never even known it. To be brief, letter boxing involves uh, following clues to find a box that is carefully hidden, usually in a natural area not too far from civilization. A letter box can be any sort of box. It usually contains a booklet, a handmade stamp, and when you find a letter box, you stamp your own personal stamp into the book, and so make one and bring it along. Then you stamp the letter box stamp into your own letter boxing logbook. So bring one of those too. So uh, it's kind of like that where they use the oh the geocaching thing, only this is called letterboxing. I'm going to put that in articles. This is another article, Back Roads. And this talks about just taking a, a back road, a gravel road, and just go any direction. Uh, I've done that before. And you know I should do that again, and I should take you guys with me. That's really fun to do. 
And this article is about playing in the dirt. It kind of goes with this. And so does this. Let's see. Climb a tree. Uh, this is sweet citrus fuzzy toilet refreshers. <laughs> I don't know why I saved that. I think it was part of that article. This is a fussy cut. I thought it would be fun to cut these little fussy cut finds here, too. So those go in fussy cuts. The art of the anywhere picnic. How fun that is. Here's a cover. I think I saved this. Um... I might have saved it because of the book, but I might have saved it for the uh, cover. I'm going to put it with pictures. This is a fussy cut. Oh, this came out of uh, the Victoria magazine. I've saved this for inspiration. Look at this. This is a shop in England, and it's an art shop, and look at all those tubes of paint. We're going to have a a room like that in the Marriott TA in our Fibsville. I think this is uh, Jan, Jan uh, Karen's. Uh, she was a writer in res residence for the Victoria magazine. I'm going to put that in inspiration. This was stuck in here, and I did find my Fussy Buttons cookbook. This is, I did this, has to go in. Uh, has to go in my art journal. This is the Fu Fussy Buttons family tree. Floyd and Fanny, Franklin and Faith, Felicia and Fritz are all F names. Frederick and Francine, Fabio and Felicity. Florence and Finian. Florence and Finian do not have any children yet, but they have a puppy poodle named Fifi. And um, Finley and Flossie it, uh, Flossie's the one who found um, Fanny's cookbook. And that's what we did this in October, I believe, right about the time and I did a Thanksgiving story. That is going to go in my inspiration, although I probably won't put it in my magazine art journal. I just ran across them. And this, these are fussy cuts. This was out of a book. I'd saved the grandfather clocks and the fans. Uh... This might go. This one, I think, was sent to me. I'm going to put that in inspiration. Uh, put those in the I don't know pile. Uh, flowers or pictures. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Let's see. Why did I save this? Our imaginations made old time radio real and they're ready. I think. I think that goes in the inspiration and maybe the fussy cuts. Uh, and this one, I don't know why I saved it. It's all about, well, it's political. I won't go through that. I'll put that with the I don't know. This entire magazine I saved, and I've shared this one online before. It's all about the solar system. And look, at it's, you know, it's a, got the big map in here. But not only is it about the solar system, they got all these collars that were worn by Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And this particular collar has fabric from her family. On Somebody made this for her. This collar was made for the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg, is imbued with personal meaning. Each of the four layers of fabric represents one member of her immediate family. How cool. And these are collars that she wore. She was uh, uh, a Supreme Court justice. And, he, and I love, I love how the um, National Geographic puts the backstory on an article like this. I think I'm going to start a backstory series. And I could even do a backstory series on Fibsville to help fill in uh, the stories that we've already done in uh, Fibsville. Look at this. Look at that, too. I love that, too, with the pencils. I might cut that one out. What's on the other side? Brave the Wave. I don't care about I'm going to put this in fussy cuts. 
I love the two with the pencils and scissors in the cup. But this whole magazine, I'm going to save as inspiration. And here's a frog. Let's see. Ancient Rome's fight. This is all about gladiators. This will go in the article. See, I was tearing up uh, National Geographic. So I got a stack of that. That'll go in articles. This is about washi paper. And we think about washi tape. But this talks about how in Japan, the art of making washi paper. Japan's centuries-long passion for paper. I found that very interesting. That's going to go in the articles. This I saved because I love this illuminated letter. Who was it who said they love illuminated letters recently? Uh, I'm not sure who it was. I was watching a video and I'm going, wow, it would be fun to do a series of illuminated letters in art. I've tried to carve them before and, and look at the graphics on this. So this is going to go in inspiration. This I say because of numbers. Numbers. That'll go in fussy cuts. Uh, this I say. This is interesting. This is inspiration. Um, introducing the ATM Mini Pro, the compact television studio that lets you create presentation videos and live streams. And they're talking about this Mini Pro. Um, you can... It's something like uh, OBS, you know, and I, I might get that. Um, I need to get, get a new computer first, but you can connect all your all your cameras and video input to it and stream up to YouTube. That just that, that's inspiration. I might be something I consider. Ideas, ideas that surprise people. This will go in inspiration too. This is talking about an artist. And that gladiator article that I showed before, he did all the gladiator illustrations for National Geographic. But what attracted to me before I even read the article was the word ideas. Ideas that surprise people. And I said, oh, I'm going to cut that for Society of Idea Collective. And then I saw the art here. And I went, oh, and then there's a whole entire article about him. This is, that's an article. Here's the gladiators. And for some reason, I've been attracted to bees. And I think, I think it was because in the scavenger hunt, um, Janet Young has a, a prompt on bees. And this is talking, this is Angelina Jolie. And she posed for this portrait where she let bees cr crawl all over her. And it talks about, she talks about it there. And then there's some more. This I say for gold. This is all gold. That's a fussy cut. This one I say because of the African journal. These are different African hairstyles. Excuse me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that in my inspiration. I want this to go in my African caboodle. And this one will go in my this is Chinatown. It's not Asian, but it is Asian, but it's America, it's San Francisco. And here's another African picture out of the um, National Geographic magazine. This one, I didn't save it because of the whale. I saved it because of the bee. But then I turned it over and I saw the whale. And the undersea. This reminds me of things that Dee Dee would save. She saves things because of color. I can see Dee Dee taking this and turning it into a collage. Uh, so I saved I saved those just because of the color aspect. Here's another thing. I kept running across this in the National Geographic. This interests me so much. This is this will go in the articles. This is all about the fine art of board work. And when they just you know our old school blackboards where we would get up and do arithmetic problems and and right. I will not throw spitballs on the blackboard 20 times, 100 times. But this is blackboard stuff with uh, mathematicians. And I thought it was very interesting because in here it says, um, uh, some mathematicians try to find new universal truths. Board work may be an end in itself, a place to record one's thoughts unrushed. 
Um, but here it said, where, where did I read this? In a world with plenty of paper, whiteboard and digital screens in space, why chalk? That's like asking a painter why they paint with oils. But there are practical matters to it, too. Uh, one University of Chicago mathematician vowed that if the math department replaced chalkboards with whiteboards, the faculty would revolt. <laughs> I thought that was a very interesting article. Um, that came in the National Geographic. That's going to go in articles. Here's a fussy cut. Oh, yeah, this is a picture. And then insects. Insects. I think that was another scavenger hunt. This was from the National Geographic magazine. Insects. A whole bunch of, whole bunch of bugs in the trees. A whole bunch of them here. So I'm going to put those in pictures. Could go in articles. Uh, are you guys bored? This I saved for the Mexican caboodle, although this is probably more South American uh, here, but it's very Mexican in flavor. Um, here's an e Egyptian. I got this out of the travel magazine. This is all about Egypt for the Egyptian caboodle. This is, yeah, pyramids. And, yeah, I saved some of these just because of the pictures. I think that's Africa again. I'm not sure why. Choose how you travel. I think because of the African here. Uh, that's African animal. Uh, here again, Tanzania. The animals. This could be either African or animal. I'm going to save them because of the animals. The gorillas, the tigers or whatever they are here. Leopards, elephants, elephant here, Nambia. Beautiful pictures of animals out of this travel magazine. The Lost Worlds of Ethiopia, Madagascar. I'll probably have to go through these again. I put them in, in the pictures one. This, <laughs> this I saved just because it interests me. This is from the, the uh, Stampington magazines. It shows all their magazines. I love their magazines. Uh, this is more fussy cutting. I'll probably have to go through these again. These are, uh, I just saved what I had left over here. Uh, I'm just going to Ireland, the Cotswold, Scotland, Norway, Greenland, travel magazine. All these pictures. I'm going to put them over here in, in the inspiration. Here's an animal. That could really be a fussy cut. Let me get through these. There's an animal. Put them over here. I'll sort them out. At least I'm getting them into some sort of piles here. I think this is just the rest of that magazine. I'll come back to that later. Private journeys. Look at that animal. Isn't that cool? This is South America again. Uh, what magazine was it? It is Wilderness Travel Magazine, if you're interested. The, you can write to them and get a free magazine. All right, now we're back to... Fussy cuts, sold with a stamp. This is all about stamps. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the articles. My favorite old time po poem, The Rainbow Fairies. And this I saved too for inspiration. Look at this old general store here. This is, this is inspiration for my general store. Look, there's a soda fountain. I'm going to put that in inspiration. This is an article all about time. Let me open it up here. Time well lived. And it's this will go in my this will go in my uh, articles that I like to read. I like to go back. I'm not ready to throw them out yet. Time well spent. Take inventory of your time. 
what distractions are keeping you from the things that really matter. So those will go in inspiration. Here's a recipe I saved. Deviled eggs. Oh, I saved it because of what if time is on my side? Consider how your days might change if you viewed time as a gift. Now, I'm not going to cut these up. I'm going to make a magazine out of them, but I'm dividing them into categories. Here's recipes. Orange scones. Blueberry drip jam. My brother would like that. Lemon shortbread. I think that's why I saved these. So let me put that in recipes. I hope I'm not boring you. Let's turn this stuff right side up again here. I think the rest of these are upside down. Let me turn the whole pile. Oh, I'm probably about halfway through. <laughs> Why did I save this? A new view of time, I think. This talks about time again. Travel by train. High time for tea. This is all about time again. Planning a tea party. Better with time. And then they use, it's about time. <laughs> So this is all about time. I'll put that as a, a time set of going. This came out of Reed Drummond's magazine, The Cowboy, and I thought these were cool. I think Rosemary did a um, an Indian journal. I don't think it was more cowboys, but that's what it reminds me of. Is that this is all rodeo. I saved this not because of the beautiful clutch that they were making. This comes out of the Pioneer Woman. But Rosemary Morris has a, a swimming, uh, a bath issue, a swimming bathhouse caboodle. And I saved it because of that. Here's a number 64 that I saved. This is a fussy cut hold for applause. Here's some more of these, these banners that the Reed Drummond magazine does. Snap from the ranch. Here's her house. This is read the Reed Drummond home. Look at the cupola here. Very cool front porch. And this is her, it talks about her home in there. I'm, that's article. Here's inspiration mugs. And the Magnolia magazine. I saved this, Beholding the Beauty of the Here and Now. I saved that because of, that's going to be a journal spot. I saved this one because it's got the label on it, but the door. I saved it for the front door. Um, what did I save this one for? Oh. When I discovered my creativity, I became a pioneering voice in my industry, and I found my community. Now, I could take a, in my industry and say... I became a pioneering voice, and I found my community. I saved that for the journal spot. I saved this for the journal spot, double the inspiration. I saved this one because it's all about embroidery. It's all about embroidery here. Uh, that's an article, really. Uh, why did I save this? I'm not sure. That goes in the I'm not sure. A look at country life Canadian style. I saved it because of that. That's really a fussy cut. This is a fussy cut with cabinets. That's why I saved that. Double the history. I saved that because of the double the history headline. I don't know why I saved this and put it up in I don't know pile. I saved this because of the bicycle picture, the picture. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. The picture, the picture. This is a fussy cut. Free your mind journal spot. The house of good taste. Look at that. That goes in there. These are fussy cuts of flowers. Memorable mantles. The styling notebook. Uh, what word when words are not enough? It's talking about flowers. I think I'll put that in a fussel cut. Here's double the inspiration again. I saved it for the journal spot. I saved this for the fussy cuts. 
Look at this. I found this so interesting. They put ties. They put men's ties on the wallpaper here. Put that in the pictures. Uh, I don't know why I saved that one. Put it in the I don't know pile. I saved this one because of the fussy cut. The be happy, do the best you can, be good and kind. And I'm not following chat. Let's see what Aunt Beck said. Having a lot of fun with Carla's. Oh, I'm way up there. Let me go down to the bottom. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you to the mods taking care of all the bots. I really appreciate it. Hi, Rhonda. Cheryl is here. Kimberly's here. Becky says, hi. Violet. Violet. Oh, many hugs, Violet. She says, I'm doing better. I'm still coughing, still weak. But I'm able to be up and functionable for longer and longer every day. Good for you, Violet. I am just about ready for a nap. But I wanted to see Mary live. Oh, Violet, thank you so much for stopping in. And we just hope that you continue, continue to get better. Hugs to you, Violet. Well, I'll give you a virtual hug. <laughs> oh, Violet, welcome. And you go take a nap. Thank you, Janet and Rhonda and Cheryl for taking care of the chat while I'm going through all of this. There's Topaz Pearl Girl. Topaz says, so true about the social media connections. Finally, after a decade, I got to meet Janet Young. Oh, cool. Let's see, Becky says, I made about eight so far. Are you talking about scavenger hunt? Oh, let's see. We said hello to the Fighting Felter. Topaz Pearl Girl came in. I don't know if she's still out there. She says, hey, hey, dear Mary. Happy Marvelous Monday. Sweet surprise to find you streaming. Yeah, I've been going through all these magazines, and I'm going to make my own magazine, but before I do, I'm separating them into categories. I might do a part two where I make the magazine. I'm just separating out my... I spent most of the weekend... Uh, well... Uh, uh, we had the streamathon. Let's see. Today is today's Tuesday. No, today's Monday. Today is the third. I spent most of yesterday. Let's put it that way. I was I was pulling pictures out of this during Tanya's stream. I saved this one for. Um, this just reminds me when I lived up in Madison. I have all these vintage samplers. I would love to have those back again. I had a wall like this of vintage samplers. Uh, they weren't antique. They were vintage, like the house by the side of the road type things. Let's see. I'm going to put that. I guess I'll put it. I should put it in articles. It's not really inspiration. It just reminded me of my wall of samplers. I saved this for the fussy cut. This is all about tile work. I thought it would be fun to cut some things from tile, but I don't know. This is an animals. This is, oh, maybe this is, no, this is about making your own kombucha scooby tea. I don't know what that is. I'm going to save it in recipes. It's looked interesting. How to propagate your willow shrubs. I thought that might be fun to try. I'm going to put it in articles. Um, I think that goes, I think this goes with it. Uh, rescued water, never tire of growing. I'm going to put it with the propagating willows. I might have to sort that out a little bit more. Building reusable seed flats. That's also a, an interesting article that I wasn't ready to throw away bite into edible bark i didn't know there was such a thing as edible bark this comes out of the mother earth news magazine i'm going to put it with recipes this is an article about hydrosols and aromatherapy make hydrosols on the stove so this is about aromatherapy that's an article propagate your own pomegranates and they, they talk about growing them in pots. I thought that was interesting. I'm not... And make dandelion wine. I say that just because I thought it was fun. Uh, I'm going to put that with the recipes. And here's another bee article. I, I think Janet Young... 
a seal of approval for beekeepers and mushroom growers. And this is another bee article. Here's bees. It also has a big old pig on it, but let's put that in the articles. Nurturing life. I'm sure I saved it because of the of the animal. I saved this one because of the, I'm going to put this in fussy cuts. I'm going to fussy cut that dresser out. Honoring heirlooms. And this is all about decoration in your home. Uh, I'm just not ready to throw this away. It's several pages long. Uh, garden retreat. Hello, sunshine. Article, pieces of history, the same thing. Uh, pieces of history. Uh, I'm just not ready. I'll probably fussy cut some of this out. I might fussy cut that. But I look for things on the wall, like pictures. Um, pictures that I can fussy cut out. So, something like this. Uh, I don't know if I'll put that in articles or fussy cuts, but for right now I'm going to put it in articles. This was an entry to the article where they took a basic picture frame and an out-of-service drawers to, to make a clev clever showcase for seed packets and garden tools. So that's kind of inspiration. And look at this one. This reminds me of my flower pot gnome. Home for a gnome. And look, they used D6000 and they ended up, they used a flower pot and they converted it into a little gnome home. Well, my gnome is much bigger than the home, but that's inspiration. This is gnome home right there. And here's an article about lovely and lavender. And I actually have a bag of lavender left. I'm going to put that in inspiration. Uh, this is also about lavender. So that'll go in inspiration. This is inspiration. I love this. This would make a really fun fine point. Uh, doodle, fine point paint applicator doodle. That's inspiration. This is picture rise and shine. I saved this for our early birds, rise and shine. What should I put that in? Pictures? New leaves. I'm not sure why I saved that. Oh, I think that's more aromatherapy. Here's a fussy cut. Get down in by the current that always pulls you back. To help you resemble where to find a better version of you. There's as much power in the place as in the moments you, you'll share here. I kind of like the thought. I say this because of the best thing. And it's talking about chicken and air fried chicken. But I like this sign, the best thing. This is a farm girl. I saved it because of the fussy cut. This is an article by Mary Jane, Cutting Loose. I'm going to put it in article. Collect it. See, I saved these things. I cannot throw these away. It's talking about collections. And play. Talking about play clay, a recipe for play clay. And making a quilt. This is all article. When I do some of these magazines, I just tear out the whole section. Pollinators. This will all go in articles. Here's um, natural pollinators. Wild flowers. Beautiful flowers. Forcing bulbs. This will all go in my article. I'll come back and read this. Cast iron. Working with cast iron. This will go in articles. I think this will be a... This is talking about farmhouse decor, dressing a lamp. This will all go in articles until I figure I don't want it anymore. Making a serving tray. Look at that. They made a fence with their tools. Welcome home. I like that. For right now, I'm going to put that in articles. Here's a recipe for chocolate fruit balls. And I saved this recipe because I've never heard of Abel Skiver, A B A E B L E S K I V, as in Victor E R, chocolate Abel Skiver. Abel Skivers are round Danish puff pancakes. 
Solid like a pancake or griddle cake, but light and fluffy like a popover. And I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Able skivers are cooked on a stovetop in a special cast iron skillet with several rounded cups. I thought that was an interesting recipe I've never heard of. Chocolate pecan mini pies. I'm sure I saved it because that's I love pecans. Here's a tartlet. You can tell I like the sweets. Chocolate hazelnut biscotti. Those are going to go in the recipe section. Here's a, some, this is another Seven Wonders article. Mary Jane Seven Wonders. What's your play personality uh, article? Every kid deserves to play. I'm sure I saved this because of the clip. Home Sweet Home. It's talking about hand coloring photo prints. Inspiration. Uh, why did I save this? I don't know. Letters to Us. I saved it because of the typewriter. That's a fussy cut. Work Play Cut Loose. That's an article. This is a fussy cut. I saved that. It's a big old bison. That's a picture. Sweet Dreams. The flavor of holiday cinnamon rolls and cinnamon biscuits. That goes in recipes. Discover your... This is an inspiration. I was looking at this house, and they only give a one-story floor plan. I'm sure it has more than one story. But I was going, how would I, how would I do that if I lived in there? And that's inspiration. I might do some floor plans of my cottage in Fibsville. Uh, this is about Lake Geneva. I saved this because of all the different houses that they're showing here. Um, yeah, at Christmas. I'm going to put that in fussy cuts. Here's an article about little Christmas trees. Little tiny tannenbaums. I'm going to put that in the articles. This is Christmas again. Christmas article. And this is inspiration about sugar cookies. I wanted to make sugar cookies this year, and I never got it done. Relax and refresh. Here's some interesting painting mugs. Here's an article on this lady embroiders pets. This is an article on a weaver. Put that in the articles. This is a, a fussy cut. This is an article on, uh, this came out of Martha Stewart, on fabric eggs. Uh, putting the stunning Shibori, S-H-I-B-O-R-I inspired eggs are easy to make and they will elevate your Easter. But I think those are fabric. I'm not real sure. That's an article. I saved this for Penny Strong for the journal spot. Here's another embroidery uh, article. Let's see. I think I saved this for the watch. Step into spring. Why did I save that? Oh, I saved this because of the advertisement. 4 a.m. Restless, exhausted, stressed, loving, excited, insecure, hopeful, and grateful. The different emotions. That's a fussy cut. Here's a picture. A picture. Here's an article about a man. A, a clock. Time may not fly for Jim Cupper, but it certainly travels well. He repairs clocks, I think. This is a fussy cut down by the road. I love this. South Dakota ad. No pie like home. I thought it would be fun to make a pie. This is a blueberry pie. My brother likes blueberries. Why did I save this? Walk in the park. I think. Quit the couch and walk in the park. Um, this is about Frida, the Mexican artist. Frida. I'm going to save that for my Mexican. This is about the different dresses that Glenn Coast wore. That'll go in articles. This is inspiration. Look at this same lady and all the different poses that she has. There's a mo for every mo. Find yours at visitmo.com. But I love all her different poses. I'd love to sketch that. Here's a picture of kids on a porch swing. This is being saved for my African caboodle, or Indian caboodle. I'm sorry, this is an Indian caboodle. These are Indian ladies. That would be fun to make a stencil with. 
poppies, floral. This is all an article on inspirational poppies. We used to have poppies down at my mom and dad's house. This is a picture of ice cream cones. This is a journal spot. Hold for applause. Go with the flow. Inspiration. Little fussy cuts of birds. Here's that by the sea. I saved this for the picture. For the picture. Here's another bee article. And I think this is all about honey and bees. For some reason, I ran across all these bees. And there's more honey. I think that goes with this. Let me put it in there. Hold a minute. I'm trying to go through these as fast as I can. I think I saved this for all in good time. Wander wisely into the Midwest. But look, there's a gnome with overalls on. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to save that for inspiration. Let's see, do I have two there? Here's another emotion one. This article, this lady, I wish I would have known her when I was there. She's from Madison, Wisconsin, and she was refurbishing old sewing machines, which reminds me of Becky, for people who lost their sewing machines in natural disaster. I'm going to put that in the articles. Here's another. There are a lot of places out there, but there's nowhere like us. That's a Fibsville thing. Hello, Sunshine Midwest Living cover. I could just cut that part out. I saved this for a picture. Here's some more tile. Uh, I think this is inspiration. And embroidery. Here's a whole article again on embroidery. Yeah, we do that slow stitching. I think she's... This is... Uh, I think it ends... I think it ends here. I'm not sure what this is. This is more flower stuff. Uh, I'm not sure why I saved this. I think it's creative. This is about... I'm not sure why I saved it. I put that in the not sure for a radar. I think I saved this for on our radar journal spot. Create storage. This is inspiration. Crate storage. This, she took crates and made a cabinet out of them. And I thought that would be cool. You know, I have that stand over there that slants kind of. And I've been looking for a narrow shelf to put in there. But the ones I found, I don't want to pay that much for. And I thought, man, crates. And I could have my brother help me put a door on them hinge them, put some shelves in there. This is inspiration. This is a fussy cut of rope. This is, um, this is the believe, uh, kind of like the mission statement of the, um, Magnolia. I saved that for inspiration. Finding our rest, put that for a journal spot. And this is, I saved these for pictures of people that I'd like to draw but this is talking about rest and an ode to the cat nap how can work and rest go hand in hand in your own life so that goes there this goes in inspiration this is talking about oats and different oat recipes I saved let's see I think it stops here this will go in recipes I hope I'm not boring, you guys. A season for rest. This is all about rest again. And here's some poetry. Let's pause. Hindsight. Let it rise. This is... Actually, I'd like to keep that with that. This is overnight bread dough. Twisted cranberry knots. Recipes for... And, of course, see, they they put the ins and outs of slumber on the back of my recipes. Juliana, this is about a children's book illustrator. My head is overflowing with visions of wildflowers and little bunnies tucked away in the tall grass. And she talks, that, I saved that because she illustrates children's books. And here's more about rest. 
the proof of living. I'm just going to keep all of these together in the articles. The embrace of winter. Your kids want Nana's cookies. You're not Nana. <laughs> Sugar cookies again. But I saved it here because of the inspiration for winter stuff. Uh, I think I'll put this in the... No, I better put it in there. Why did I save this? I might have just pulled it with something else. Time. This is all about time. Time well spent. Making space for rest. That all came out. I'm just about done here. <laughs> Making space for rest. All this stuff inspires me. And you just because I pulled it doesn't mean that I need to keep it. But I probably will. I think this making space for rest will be a journal spot. But we believe in doing good work. This is that mission statement again. But rest... Oh, that's more about furniture stuff. I'm not... What pulls it on? Here again, the pictures, the portraits. Good sketching. Good things to sketch. Until I get to the back when it talks about your non-negotiables. Name your non-negotiable. It's not easy. It's not perfect. But then again, nothing worthwhile ever is. But I'm going to put it with my inspiration i saved this because of the picture look that with the fussy cuts here's bees again i saved a lot of bee articles we're talking about bees the world of honeybees i don't know i kept saving the bees a case for failed commitments this interested me because i have a whole bunch of failed commitments in Happy Mail Commitments. The Promises We Make. Reframing Our Commitments. Look at this. No looking. She's writing in the journal. It's talking about writing. Talking about writing. And this just interests me. This is more about choosing cut paint colors. But it interested me. Um, this interests me. It's talking about taking memorabilia. That means a lot to you or things you find interesting and framing them in shadow box things for the frame resistant. Empty walls can be intimidating. That's an article. Love of lemons talks about growing a lemon tree I thought would be fun. And then it gives a little lemon meringue recipe. Here is that Finish Strong article again. Uh, Finish Strong, it's an advertisement. For Listerine, but I like Finish Strong. I usually save the covers. Here it says Grounded in Good Things. I thought that would make a nice journal spot. Here's another journal spot. I just like things very homey. I like old stuff around me. That describes me. And here's a bunch of old things. I save these for the pictures. These are fussy cuts. Uncovering a treasure. Look at the treasures. And I love this Country sam Sampler magazine. It just has more inspiration in there. Not only of things to buy, but things to make. Uh, this is the fall issue. Oh, why did, oh, look, I saved the outdoor toilet. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. I think I saved it because of Country Door. Uh paint in pink echoes of the past Let's see if i can't get these echoes of the past i think this i'm gonna save for it well fussy cuts too um these are just uh, a lot of country a lot of antique things here is where they took a wagon and filled it with puffy stars you could use hearts Whatever, I'm going to save that in pictures. All dolled up. I'll save that. Fussy cut. Fussy cut. And I started noticing houses. And I did a house zine. I might be out of frame here. If I am, I apologize. I did a house zine and I started recognizing. I want to do it again. Look at that old Victorian house. Uh next time I do this I might 
I'm going to put all of these in fussy cuts. I might uh, do houses. Parade of color reminded me of Dee Dee. Second time around. This is all fussy cut stuff. Old so uh, solo colonial. I love colonial. I love colonial. There's another house I could do. And of course, this is just advertisement, but it's sparkle and spirit. This is, I'm going to fussy cut these. There's a, a rug. Oh, say can you see it got into 4th of July stuff. There's a 4th of July gnome. <laughs> this would be fussy cut stuff. Here's the cover to that with the stars in the wagon. Puff, puffy stars. I might, might put that in inspiration. And I saved some of these just because of the little journal spots. Small seeds of gratitude will produce a harvest of hope. And here's a rug. I could fussy cut colonial. I saved this one because I love that writing desk and the picture above it. And these are all going fussy cuts here. Fussy cut stuff. Most of my country sampler stuff I put in fussy cuts. And then I pick out things like the clock and the stars. The cow above the bed. Little pictures over there. General info. Here's an article about making uh, flowers. And it even tells you how to make them here. Uh, spring. Here they wrap the eggs with, flower, um, with string. For spring. Ten ideas for using scraps. Yeah, this will go in articles here. Articles. Articles. This will go in recipes here. Recipes. How sweet it is. Yummy. Mini strawberry brie and cream cheese galettes. Thick blueberry lemon bars, candied lemon slices. That'll go in recipes. Here's, look at that heart. I'm sure that hearts, Becky did hearts. Might be fun to make some. This, of course, was done off of a press. And I was looking at this and I thought, I bet I could carve a heart. I was thinking about taking some of that air dry clay and just do a rectangle or a square and it says it's carvable and I might try I don't know I could do anything as intricate as this but that's what I thought of with Becky's heart project hearts of plenty let's put that in inspiration here's a fussy cut of a topiary fussy cut and fussy cut and I'm done so these will all be fussy cut here. I'll go through and fussy cut. These I'll probably go through again because I've got some things in there. These are all pictures and they may or may not go in the magazine depending on. I might fussy cut some of them. But these are all, I saved them because of the pictures. I might fussy cut some like this. This is all inspiration. I'm going to have different chapters. I'm going to have different chapters. This is in, these are pictures. These are inspiration. These. <laughs> this is definitely the fattest article. I mean, the fattest chapter is, I might have to make more than, I might have to make four or five magazines. This is all um, articles. This could be a magazine in itself. This is Fussy Cut. And I have... A, a chapter here uh, could probably go with inspiration is recipes. This little pile here is, I don't know why I saved it. I'll have to go through and look at, oh, I'm sure I saved this one because it was of that grandfather clock there. I know why I saved that's a fussy cut. This is a fussy cut because it's Christmas, vintage Christmas. I think this was the back of a article here this I don't know this might have just been pulled with the this I think was just pulled with something else 
some of these were probably pulled with something else. Oh, this, take it or leave it. I saved it because of that. Take it or leave it. I think I saved this one because of the blue color. I'm going to do a blue color journal like I'm doing the gold journal. This was a political ad. This was a list of things that Annie V sent me in March Happy Mail of 2021. That should go in a journal. That's a scribble. This looks like it was a fussy cut, a picture of a lamb. And I'm not sure why I saved this. Maybe because of the pictures. So, there we go. That's my, let me come out and see what's going on in chat and I'll get off. But I'll do a part two. This was sorting it. I'll change my title to The Sort. <laughs> I hope I didn't bore you guys. But I went through, I showed you I had three bags of magazines. And I pulled out different things that interested me. And there's not much that I didn't, that I threw away from this. Um, yeah. This, this... This is definitely my biggest pile here of the articles. This is recipes. This is inspiration. I'm going to have different chapters. I might end up... Well, this is an entire magazine itself. The National Geographic. I'm going to keep... I'm going to put Keep Entire Magazine on that. This is inspiration here. And some of this is... That's the full family tree. That may not go in there. But I'm going to have different chapters, and these are pictures. And and the way I'm going to do this is with that, it's called simple binding. And all you do, it has to be all straightened out. I'll straighten out a few here. All you do is put your things in order. Let's say this is in order and it's thick. And then you clip it together, and then you just put glue down the side of here. And you'll see me do that. I'll do that in my next video on this. And I might do it in a live stream on Monday, uh, in the morning. Not tomorrow morning. Well, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, part two will be binding. Sorting out and binding the articles. I'll have to get these all in order. And I'll make different magazines. Like this will all be articles that I read and I want to keep. Uh, I got rid of all the extraneous stuff out of several magazines, and I just saved things that interested me. Um, just, I may not fussy cut them. They're just things I like to go back and read and look at. So, let me come out and look at chat here. I'm way up at where Julie came in. Let's go. Hi, Angel! If you're still out there... Um, Becky says, Mary, do you remember the gem journals I just found? Yes, I do. Journal a month. Did you make a gem journal, Becky? Wow. Yeah, journal a month. I was doing that. And actually, I actually do a journal a month, but I don't do one to give away. I was making two uh, journals where I just kind of folded. They were about this size, approximately, maybe a little bigger. And uh, I made one for myself, and I gave one away. November 2019. Yeah. Hi, Teresa. How you doing? Did you survive all the storms down that way? Teresa has been in the path of all those storms in the southeast. I've been watching that happen. Janet's still here. Thank you, Mods, for taking care of all the bots out there. Deb Farrell is in here. Becky said, I just found the positive alphabet book I started with Barb Owen. Yeah, I have that in my... I Becky, I got inspired by you. I'd have to get up and go over to the corner there and get it. But you know how you put all your journals in progress in a, in a, 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 a holder? And... I did that, and I got them on a shelf down over, down over there, and that's where my little positive, Barb Owens positive, because I made one of those too, only I haven't filled it with the positive, yeah, I need to go back in and fill it with positives, 
Becky said, I just found the positive alphabet book. I started with Barb Owen. Deb Farrell came in. Angie Brown was here. She says, I'm here. I'm just working. Candy's here. Candy was my first person in, I think, and she's still here, or was still here. Janet had to go get some coffee. Becky's sorting through stuff. <laughs> Becky is going to do Carla's um, glue booking, scavenger hunt, and she said it's helping her sort through all of her stuff. I would do that. I think I may do Janet Young's scavenger hunt. Um, I'll have to see. I was thinking I would do it as a challenge to myself of how many scavenger hunts pages could I do in an hour. You know, get all the stuff together that I have that fulfills it and see how many I could do in an hour. That might be a standalone video. And uh, I probably will not do it unless I get it finished by the end of April. I'm not really doing it for the contest thing. Let's see. Janet says, welcome to everybody coming in. Becky says, somewhere in this house is an abandoned cup of tea. I think it turned itself invisible as I could not find it. So I'll go make a new cup. <laughs> somewhere in this house is my, my paper punch. I kind of, it's kind of slowed me down. I'm making my zine. I can't find my circle paper punch. My two and a half. And I was listening to Tanya and she was talking about her paper punch, her ATC paper punch. These are some that I, that I punched before I made it. Here's the cardinal one that I did. Um, but she says it doesn't punch out one side. And that's exactly what's going on with this. And if you put several layers of this thin paper together, it punches thick layers fine. But if you put several papers together, and I agree with Tanya. She says, no matter how many times I've tried to sharpen it, it still, it still does not punch in that one area. And for me, it's that area where if you look at the paper punch, there's a little piece in there. And that little piece in there where the punch comes up is right where it doesn't punch. Let's see. Janet Baum had to go make a cup of coffee. Becky lost her cup of tea. <laughs> Kendra's Crafty Corner. Hi, Kendra. She said, hello, everyone. Just popping in to say hi. She's crocheting and lurking. Cool. That's another thing I get it need to get back to. Sharon Lombard was here. Jersey Laura. Jersey Laura was here. Laura. <laughs> she says, Mitzi, hi. Hi to all. She's working on a little slow stitch. I don't mind if I don't type a lot. I've got busy hands, and I completely understand that. Hudson Sailor Nancy was in here. Sharon Lombard, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. Becky says, I have a box of lavender thanks to Barbara Clark. I'm going to make lavender sachets. I've got a sack left. I took one of my videos and made, you know, the little hanging lavender set, uh, pieces where you just wrap a string around them and hang them up. I've got them hanging over there on my white uh, room divider. But I still have a sack and I think that, I think when, it, if I make sachets, I can't think of where, I guess I could put them, I guess I could put them where I put all my everyday clothes. Uh, I could make some sachets, but I'd like to have some lavender cloth. There's an article on lavender here. I'll have to go read it again. Jersey says, those are so cute. I love the gnome home. I'm making a fairy house. Where the weather gets nice, when the feather get the the feather gets nice, she says those are so cute. I love the gnome home. I'm making a fairy house when the weather gets nice. I found the perfect tree here at the farm. Oh, a fairy house! We got trees. I could make a fairy house. My brother wouldn't care as long as I didn't ruin the tree. He doesn't mow the lawn anymore. I mow the lawn. Becky says, okay, gang, I need ideas for using dried rose petals. I have a gallon bag full. Becky has a gallon bag full of rose petals, of dried ones. 
Well, I could think they probably don't have much scent to them, but you could still put them in potpourri, uh, a little glass jar, um, kind of the decorative. Uh, you could even make a little, um, oh, I'm thinking one of those shaker cards and put some petals in there and put a, put a watercolor of a rose and put some of the rose petals there. I also think of rose petals around uh, an antique photo or maybe a photo that you get at, you know, an old photo, uh, a lost relative type thing. Put some rose petals on that. Those are the things that come to me if you're still here, Becky. Jersey Laura says, Cheryl, I'm just sewing and listening. Cheryl came in. Rhonda's here. Candy. Becky says, hearts. Becky did eight hearts. Well, I got six hearts on my slate. That's all I have enough fabric for what I'm doing. Uh, uh, I may continue the hearts throughout the year, though, Becky, if you're still out there. Um, but I want to get these six done and get them out in the mail. My first one will go to Barb Owen, and probably the second one will go to Lisa. Um, then... I'll just fill out the other. I want to keep one for myself, so I'll have two left to send out. And then after I get those done, I might throughout the year just make hearts to send out throughout the year. Uh, Becky has a project going. Uh, what, what do you call those? Hearts of Love. Her video is Hearts of Love. Um, uh, and where she's making hearts, she says she's made eight of them. She makes hearts. She does beautiful work. Uh, and uh, she sends them to people to encourage them and uplift them. Violet was in here. This is where Violet said she's doing better, but she's still on the mend. Uh, Mitzi says, Carol. Oh, and I got a little vibration notification there. This is where Mitzi came in and said hello. Uh, Renee was here. Carol was here. Topaz Pearl Girl said true about the social media. So I'm caught up with chat. Let's go back down to the bottom. Kathy, Kathy D, Kathy with the D says, I can always depend on you. I need to pick me up when, when I need to pick me up. Becky says, no, Becky, not for some time now. What did Becky say? Dried rose petals can, Deb Farrell says, dried rose petals can be used as an inclusion in clay or resin. <gasps> an inclusion in resin would be beautiful. Take a bezel and put some dried rose petals in it and then use resin. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Deb. I love that idea. I don't think I have any dried flowers. I'll have to wait till next spring. I um, used all my flower. I got some lavender, but they're not, they're more leaves. Lavender leaves are not the blooms. <coughs> Kathy D came in. Becky said, hearts of love for those that need love, encouragement, support, and inspiration. Becky, if you're still here, you can drop a link to your video if you want. Giovanna, has anybody seen her around lately? Where did I see her? I think I saw her on an old Christmas card. <laughs> I think that when I pulled out my old Happy Mail, I think I pulled out a card from Giovanna. You're right. I haven't seen her around lately. Giovanna, if we mention you, will you show up? Becky and I have this thing where we don't see people for a while. We mention their name and all of a sudden they show up. So, Giovanna, we're looking for you. Dried rose petals. I would make some texture papers with those. There's another good idea. Becky says, ah, just found my Mary Nutcracker 2018. Is that the one that you made, Becky, with the, you sent me, a, you sent me on my page. I see it every now and then. She says, Mary, remember these with the little nutcracker that opens up? Ah. Uh, yeah, Janet says her round punch too. There's one area that no longer punches. It must be a thing with round punches. Angie says, Mary, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what you don't get, Angie. Oh, dear. Teresa was here. Becky says, woohoo. Uh, 
Teresa, how's the birth? Teresa has a birthday. Teresa, if you're still out there, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Teresa. Happy birthday to you. I don't sing it as pretty as I listen to um, Crafting Mama sing happy birthday. Ah. Oh. I can't sing like that, I said. <laughs> she has such a beautiful voice. Mine is scratchy and, oh well, it's still a happy birthday song. Happy birthday, Teresa. If you're still out there. And I'm back to where Becky said she found Barb Owen's alphabet book. And thank you, Rhonda, for, for bopping your wrench. But I got a... I got an inspiration here. Do I have a, no, my idea collector magazine. I'm going to, when I get done with my dolls, I'll show you here. I put a, I put it in my society of idea collector. Uh, where did I put it here? For my mods, because they have been so good. I'm going to make a, some little gnomes. I might do a Ruby Rose gnome. I just did a fast sketch that are holding gold wrenches with a red heart. <laughs> and here's another idea I have is I got all these clusters. And I don't think that was my idea. I think I was talking about what to do with all my clusters. And somebody said, put them in a book. So I wrote a, uh, uh, a light bulb. I drew a light bulb and put, make a cluster book. You know, just get a, maybe a photograph album and put pages in there and I would have to maybe put it on the I got a whole bunch of skinny report covers that I could put them on there so I could peel them off or I could put them on wax paper happy birthday Teresa you are still here there's crafty Jude hi Jude well, you guys, I've been on for, for how long have I been here? I, I can't tell on my chat there. Let me look up here. I have been on for almost an hour and 45 minutes. So it's probably time for me to bop off. And I do not think Lisa is going to stream tonight. And that's the other thing I need to do is get out my laptop and see if I can get with Lisa and test my... Because I'm going to be, and Lisa and Tanya are having a birthday streamathon next week. So I need to get that going so I can, uh, I have trouble with sound. So I need to get that going. So I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. Thanks for listening to me go through and sort through all my, this is the sort for my magazine. I'm going to do, like I said, a, a simple binding where you just take your magazine. These are my articles of interest. And I saved out everything that interested me from several different magazines. And what you do is you put them, line them all up and clip them together tight. And then you put, the, it's called a simple binding. And you just put a stream of glue on the binding and let that dry. And... And you could, it opens up flat. I've done it before. It opens up flat like that. But it's also, it's like a paper pad. You can tear out. So I probably will not be tearing out of my articles. But my pictures I might be. And I'm going to make three or four different. Now I was going to make one. But I've got too many, too many pages here for one magazine. Uh, I'll probably make three, three, maybe four magazines. Hi, Brenda D. Bye, Deb. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great, have a great evening. Have a really fun 2002. Take care of yourself. And Jenna says, Mary, Mary, use two rulers. Then use the clips. That works great. Oh, really? You're talking about two rulers like this to to clip them keep them straight 
and then put the clips on the rulers. I think that's what she's saying. I might put another clip. Well, no, because I'm going to glue it this way. All right, Janet. If I don't have that down, message me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great evening. Um, I don't think Lisa is streaming this evening, but uh, somebody else might. So keep an eye out. Bye for now.